So we want to create a DWG file and include it and, uh, and include it inside the profile, uh, inside the Tecla Structures profile catalog. Now, I've created that, the profile in, uh, in AutoCAD. So I want to bring it in into Tecla Structures as my custom, my, as my custom profile. This is my own profile. This is my own uh, created profile and I want to include it into Tecla Structures and use it. So let me switch back to AutoCAD and uh, so that you see. Oops. Yeah, here I'm in AutoCAD window and this is uh, ITF, uh, IT5 uh, uh, sheet. This is uh, 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 iron sheet, roofing sheet, I mean. So I've just created a 2D. So I want to pull this into Tecla structures to create my own profile of, of IT, IT5 iron sheet. So we have that. And also we have, I have the reach and also I have some I have some flashings. So I'll I'll pull I'll pull in the two into Tecla structures and apply them on a particular project. So once you see this, you'll be able to create your own, and this that will be very interesting to, to hear from you that you learn something out of this. Now, let's first of all be, uh, pull in the we pull in the IT5 into Tecla structures uh, profile catalog. So I'll come back to Tecla structures window. So where do we go from here? Now to access the tools, I'll come to file here and click on that. Then scroll down to catalogs. I'll click on catalogs and come to define profiles, define profiles, click on define profiles, then move straight to a define cross section using the DWG, DWG because we have, we've already done the cross section, just the 2D plane, just a line work of, or a section of, the IT5 or a section of the iron sheet. So I'll go I'll, I'll go here under section using define sec, cross section using DWG file. I'll, I'm going to pick on that. So the moment I pick on this, I'll go to this step, and uh, we have the we have three tabs here. You don't need to bother about this. Just under the picture, come to parameters and pull in and pull in the profile you want to use. So under the profile here, we have the type is that the picture you can see the parameters is that. So under input under input file, just go ahead and click that radio button there. So track the the file track the file the, track the folder you where you've saved that DWG profile. So I've I've saved it on my desktop. So I'll just scroll down if which I hope I'll get it. Let me just scroll down. I'll pick on sheets. I was forgetting the name of the folder here. Now I'll pick on the IT5 here. That is the folder. So I'll go ahead and click OK. So the moment I click OK, I'll be able to now to uh, give a name to that particular section. I'll just type IT5, IT5001, and I'll just copy that. Just uh, copy that and paste it on the next profile name right there. So that's it. On the weight, just leave it at 7850. Uh, 7850. Uh, 7850. Pro profile section, uh, profile attributes, just leave it as it is. Then go ahead and click apply and give it an OK here. So the moment you give it an OK, you'll be able to see a Tecla structure is trying to ask you if. Uh, it's already asking you to uh, first of all pick your position, the first position. So I want first of all just to lay, I've, I've placed my marking somewhere here and I want to just to place my iron sheet here. So I'll pick on this particular point and move all the way to somewhere here, though there's no sheet in the world that is this long. So th this is just a demonstration how you can create your own profiles, your own material, and place it them and place them inside the pro, uh, Tecla structure catalog profile um, profile catalog. So I'll terminate it here and give it some time to load. Though it's so big, it's so long, it's lengthy. So this is the iron sheet we created in AutoCAD and we've pulled it in into Tecla structures. So I'll come here and uh, 
and navigate and pick a rotation point and press my left button in the mouse and then be able to turn it around. So you notice the, the moment I double click on it, this beam properties will come up, which means this is already our, uh, our profile, uh, the profile that has been included in Tegra Structures profile catalog. So if you click on select, you'll be able to see it's already in here. You can see that. Perfect. So go ahead and close that. So the moment you, 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 you've seen it's already on your profile catalog and the materials is also there. So I'll, I'll also show you how you can change this material here. That one is the next step you're going to move into. So I'm going to click on that and close because that's not the next step we intend with, is not part of what we, we're discussing at the moment. Now we want to reposition this uh, iron sheet into the right position. We want this edge to flash to this far end, to flash with the, with the edge of our of our balance. Now I'm going to come to positions here and pick it to the left, move it to the left, and uh, give mod apply, click modify, apply, and give it an OK. So if I come to navigate here, I'll be able to rotate this. And still, you can see it's still clashing with palings, with our palings. So double, just double click on it, then come to add depth, then click front. Then you need to move up slightly and note really clashing with any part of our member, of the steel member. Now, I'm going to just to select on it. So once I've done that, I want to reorient, I want to mirror this. And prior to mirroring this, you need to reorient or reposition your XYZ plane in the right position, in the right position so that you'll be able to mirror without any hiccup at all. Now I'll come to work plane here and click on work plane tool. Then I'll place it in, in any place or any position here. I can, I can place it right there. Just to define my XYZ plane. So I'll come here and right click and come to special copy and pick and pick mirror taking into account that our sheet has been already uh, selected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate here and pick a mirror, a mirror point. I'll pick this point here and move all the way to some point there and click OK and click OK. Click copy and click OK. You, you'll be able to see I've mirrored this sheet to the other end. You can see that. Now let's lay or let's, let's place let us now place the ridges. So we want to pull in the ridges somewhere there. So what I'm going to do, you can either populate, the, uh, populate this along the, Z, uh, along the Z axis because our uh, XYZ axis has been already reoriented. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it back to, to the default position and how do you do that? You come to a plane tool there and just place it down there. So that's okay, so that it doesn't interfere with, with our next step, which largely depends on the position of our XYZ plane. Now let's pull in the ridge. So we'll follow the same same process. I'll, I'll come to file here and pick on the catalog and come to uh, define profiles and come to define, uh, define cross section using DWG file. I'll click on that. So I'll come to parameters here and pull in there, the ridge. Uh, I showed you that we have the ridge here. So I'm, I'm going to pick on the region after clicking on the grid and click OK. So once it has been loaded here, you can see the directory of that particular uh, file. So I have to change this, the description of that particular profile, and I want to give it a ridge. Just type ridge. And just copy that. Let's give it a different name because we might be having a similar name on, on our title on our profile catalog. So I'm going to paste it on the next uh, on, the, on, on the profile name there. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. The moment you've done that, just go ahead and click apply and give it an OK right there. So we want to apply it here. So prior to doing that, make sure the position you intend to apply it is the best position. Perfect. This is the best position and you want to put it in. And if there's any rectification, we have to do that later on. So let me just place this on here. 
end form we have it we have our LED in place so let me just turn this and turn that come here and rotate that you can see it's slightly off but still the, the best position so I'm going to slightly shift it to flash with the edge double click on it and uh, select it and come to uh, move special and pick linear and check on the position of the XYZ so we want to move it on the X direction so I'll come to X direction of feeling 20 here and click move so we'll move it slightly up to that end so if I come to navigate I'll be able to turn this slightly and you'll be able to see uh, it's slightly flashing but we need to move it slightly by some few millimeters so I'll change this instead of 20 to be more accurate on our, on our movement we'll just use one and click OK and check whether it has flashed properly so that's probably OK and again now we'll try to move it down we'll try to move it down try to move it down let me just come to navigate and bring it close now what I want us to do now, double, let's double click and change change the view. I'll retain it at 180, 180, and uh, take this to zero. So I'll go ahead and click modify and apply and give it OK. So we want to pull this reach slightly down to flash with the uh, with the sheets. So select on that right click and come to uh, come to uh, special move, come to linear, and I'll change that to zero. I'll target my, now my Z axis. So at, at Z axis, I'll just type negative and I'll uh, pick on one. So I'll be able to move this down slightly to, uh, to a point where I'll, it, I'll see it flashing with, the, with our iron sheet. And that position is okay for us. So click on empty screen to, dis, to, do, to, to deselect everything. So this is how it will look. This is how it will flash. And this is how the ridge will now look. Perfect. Perfect. So this is it. Now let's move to the next step and let's meet that.